It's kind of hard to to see where it could have a stigma. I mean, unless you're unless you're a hater of goggles. The goth scene has gone stagnant for so long that people are really desperate for something new that will kind of give a, a shot of energy. And I think steampunk is a good outlet for that. I am Kara Odor. I do the Clockwork Cabaret radio show. I DJ the Clockwork Balls and host them. And I'm a part of the steampunk subculture in Carborough. As a subculture, it's only about, mm, I would say, a year and a half, two years old. So it's brand spanking new. I would like everything to be steampunk, though. I've been told by several people that I have to stop using that word for a short period of time. <laughs> and she's the other one! It's really easy to tell visually when you're seeing something that's steampunk. Like the Datamancer laptop, it should be in the Victorian era, but oh my god, it's a computer! It can't be! It's steampunk! The music we play is trying to hit on some chord of a future that never was or a past that should have been. I like to define it as a Frankenstein monster. It's pieces that should never have gone together, fitting together and making something that is slightly terrifying but also fascinating. We can pretty much put any kind of music into the show and, and just go, yeah, we think this is steampunk or well, it might not be, but we want to hear it, so so bear with us. Yeah, that sounds steampunk. I have never met a friendlier group of people. At the last Clockwork Ball, we actually had sorority girls. They were coming up going, what is this? This is neat. If I had known, I would have dressed up. And we're like, really? Yes, what, what do I need? I just need a corset and a bustle or something? And I was, well, yes, maybe some goggles, something. And they're like, when are you having the next one? I think Emma and I have been the most furiously passionate promoters about getting people to come to these events. The steampunk parties we do are kind of leveling the playing field and giving an opportunity for everybody to cut loose. You don't have to be dressed in the, you know, the trappings of it for folks to welcome you with open arms. Like, yay, you're here. This is weird. We know it's weird, but join us for a little while. I don't want people to be able to easily define the music. I don't want people to be able to easily define the clothing or the hairstyles or, you know, where you can have a piercing, what you can do when you're out dancing. I want it to stay tenuous and fluid. I want it to stay something that people can't define. That makes it wonderful to know that for now I'm existing in this great subculture that's not yet defined. Mm -hmm.